Guys, it's Jared here, and I'm going to review a really bad movie on uh, Netflix, which is called uh, Gotti. Here it is, Gotti. Yeah. So the only reason I was interested in this was because it has a zero on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, Gotti is a uh, biographical film about the real life uh, gangster John Gotti, and is directed by Kevin Connolly and stars John Travolta as uh, John Gotti. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say straight up, this movie is a piece of shit. This movie is terrible. It is so poorly made. I mean, this movie, like, the story of John Gotti, it's, it's out of order. You know, sometimes it's when, you know, John Gotti was young, sometimes it's when he was old, and I mean, it's so confusing, I mean, you can't tell, you know, a lot of the time you can't tell what point of his life it's set in, and when, you know, he's supposed to be in his 30s, you know, you really, like, you can't buy John Travolta as being somebody in his 30s, you know, I mean, he's in his 60s now, I mean, he, he doesn't look like he's in his 30s when he plays John Gotti in his 30s. <clears throat> and I mean, you know, it's not even, like, I watch this because it has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, and like, it's not really so bad it's good, it's just awful, I mean, the only bits in it that are like, so bad it's good or like, easy to make fun of are in the beginning when he's going like, New York, the greatest fucking city in the world. Uh, and the other bits where um, he says, I'll shove a bus up your ass fucking sideways. Like, what does that even mean? And then at the end when he's like, you won't meet another guy like me, even if you live to be 5,000. Like, <laughs> oh my god. And I was, he, he reminds, uh, John Travolta's John Gotti reminds me so much of, um, the comedian called uh, uh, Vic Di Batetto. He just he just acts and talks just like him. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's <clears throat> quite amusing, really. But yeah, this movie is so boring. I mean, I mean, they should have just picked you know one part in John Gotti's life to make a film about, not make it you know be about his whole life. You know, they should have just picked one uh, point in his life. And also they use, like, footage, like, real-life news footage as well, which really doesn't fit in because, you know, it's so much more grainy than the rest of the film. Oh, and the music. Oh, the music was done by Pitbull, the worst, possibly the worst rapper in history. Oh, I cannot stand Pitbull. No, like, I cannot stress that enough. I... Eight Pitbull. Yeah, I don't know why anyone would hire Pitbull to do the music for their film. Oh, he is just so untalented. You know, ugh, I hate his music. You know, even in like good movies, he does music for like Fast and Furious. Like, mm, like, yeah. The only real Pitbull song that I kind of like is uh, Timber. You know, I don't mind him on that song. You know, there are songs that he features on that I like, but I don't like him on the songs. You know, but um, Timber is the only song that I kind of like him on. But yeah, Pitbull, he is just so untalented, and um, and like even then, his music just doesn't fit this you know type of film. Like what? Like even if. You know, Pitbull was good. Why would you get like someone like that to do music for a gangster movie like this? I mean, <clears throat> and like even the the hit scenes in this movie are just so badly done. I mean, you know how they like beat people up. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's just so poorly done. I mean, oh god, this this movie is so unbelievably bad. It. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'd almost recommend, it's not so bad it's good, but I'd almost recommend it just as a curiosity to really see how bad this movie is. So, uh, uh, Gotti, terrible film. Yeah, shit. Bye.